What's up? Happy Thanksgiving. Ugh. For those who know me, I'm not a holiday person whatsoever. I'm not a holiday person. Because I think everybody should have gratitude and thanks and gratitude and did I say gratitude already? Appreciation for life. <laughs> Excuse me. My Jesus hiccups. <laughs> it's just funny that it's like Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's is like the only three days out of the year that people are civil and cordial and it, it makes absolutely no sense to me at all. So I, here's a secret about me. I choose to help others first. I choose to put people before me, consciously, sometimes unconsciously, but I do it in a form of, because if I focus on myself, I, I was gonna do a live stream about this before where it was self-love, self-care versus uh, being there for others, like which comes first. But I always just say like, look, I'm far from perfect and I think trying to do my best to assist others to be their best self actually puts a little transformation in me. So anyways, I wanna show you guys what I'm making. So my mom dropped off honey baked turkey, which actually looks like ham. So I just uh, broiled it. If you're a vegetarian, turn away. I also did mac and cheese. I didn't have the breadcrumbs, but if I did have the breadcrumbs, uh, I would have put that in the bake. Uh, I'm sorry, in the oven and baked it. I don't want to put my hands on it. <clears throat> and I got my pumpkin pie on the bottom there. This, the dressing I made. My mom dropped off the scalloped potatoes with cheese and I made the cornbread. Yes. Um, I like baking, even though no one's coming over. <laughs> it's okay. I saw someone else just come in. You missed what I, round two. So there's scalloped potatoes with cheese, and I think that's, Bacon, mushrooms, something like that. I'm going to add garlic and mushrooms to that because it tastes a little weird. My mom bought it. My infamous dressing, which is very simple. Vegetable oil, bread, the mix, and uh, oregano. Uh, that's actually a, a superfood. Helps your immune system. Cornbread. I'll tell you my secret why it's so white and fluffy. So my cornbread, what I do is I put the mix first, then I add the vegetable oil, then I add honey on top of the vegetable oil, and I keep it in the center. Then when I pour the milk or almond milk or if you have oat milk, you, uh, you pour it around and the honey will actually stay in the middle. So whenever you, um, uh, Bust it open. I need to take this out. When you bust it open, uh, or you know, when you cut the cornbread, it actually will have the honey will be evenly in the middle and so good. And I just reheated a um, pumpkin pie. I don't know how to make pumpkin pie. I do not have the patience right now. 2020 killed the rest of my patience. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so if anybody is out there and you don't have a meal or what have you, there's food here. And you know I'm corona free. So, I mean, like, honestly, we all need to stop being corona scared, please. Stop being corona scared. Live your life. Like, if today was your last day on earth, would you rather spend it being scared of a a virus that has uh, 
asymptomatic. <laughs> There's no such thing as something that is asymptomatic that can travel from your nose to someone else's nose and get them sick. Let's be very clear and honest. Very clear and honest. <laughs> if you already have a pre-existing anything that attracts bacteria to your already existent virus symptoms, if let's say if someone has a fever and they're dripping sweat, then you can expose other people. So that's all I want to say. I've been doing a lot of observations. But anyway, how are you guys? What are you guys up to? I saw more people come in. Let's do one more trip to the kitchen. <laughs> so every Thanksgiving, I usually like to um, cook for five people. This is honey baked turkey. Oh, and it looks like ham and it tastes like ham. And what I like is the outside is very mm, crispy. And so, <laughs> popping. Um, I would have put chicken broth on this, but I was like, nah. I would have put the chicken broth on my dressing. Come on. All right, so what I would like to do is um, for my dressing, because it might come out a little dry, I'll add the chicken broth after I take it out and it's dry. Uh, so I think chicken broth doesn't have to be cooked. You just let it heat up. Uh, this is gravy for the roasted turkey, which is optional there. And then what else was I going to do? I had lots. I had baked beans, but I was like, oh, keep it simple, Aaron. Um, mac and cheese. What I might do is put sharp cheddar on top with uh, uh, bread crumbles, or if I had uh, croutons, then I would bake it. So that way I get like a nice crispy, cheesy topping. Uh, but <clears throat> since I'm near my vitamins and essentials, I want to show you guys that parsley leaf. Um, I heard is a super uh, antioxidant, um, high in iron. For people, for women particularly who have fibrosis, um, uh, kind of like how my, my Aunt Vicky, my late Aunt Vicky just passed, uh, parsley leaf is actually really good to culture your stomach, followed up with probiotics, prebiotics. Um, <laughs> I found out that hemp is actually pretty good to have. Uh, if you don't like uh, CBD oil, you can always do a hemp uh, these are 25, that's 370 milligrams. Uh, what else do I got over here? This is like a lifesaver, oil of oregano. It's a soft gel. And uh, this is actually a superfood. I actually planted oregano outside, but um, two of these a day is what I take. It helps my immune system. Uh, I try to remember potassium and magnesium. This is at uh, CVS. <laughs> Happy pills, yes. <laughs> Happy pills giving. <laughs> so my friend, he was having, um, uh, he has like heart disease. And so I gave him a list of stuff. I'm like, look, dude, I cheated. Uh, I was kind of borderline heart disease because I was having hypertension. And because of my 20s, Chris knows like, <laughs> We used to drink so much. <laughs> like when you're at the club, you know, you don't think about water until the very end. You want to you wanna have your, you want to be lit and just float, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, back to some more. I actually just tried this uh, CBD oil. It is 1,200 milligrams. Dude, let me just tell you. And it has a little hibiscus, which knocks you out. Uh, Non-GMO is vegan friendly and it's pesticide free. Boom. I love, like even when I do eat meat, I always try to consume um, extracts and vitamins, holistics that are herbal. 5-HTP, uh, this supports serotonin. Even though I take a pharmaceutical for my serotonin, this actually helps. I'm trying to overdose on serotonin. Uh, mood thingies because um, 
no one believes I have hyperthyroidism and no endocrinologist wants to prescribe me anything for my overactive thyroid function. It's only when I perform and dance, you know, I'm ready to go. Like I go full out. If everyone, if anyone has seen me dance, you know I go full out. Um, vitamin D, I eat as a gummy. I also eat my probiotics as gummies too. Um, so I have one water bottle and in this water bottle is liquid oxygen. Where is it at? Where's my liquid oxygen? And I also put um, colloidal silver or colloidal silver as you may call it. And um, for you uh, Corona fear people, you can actually spray it in your nose. <laughs> I think uh, draining the nasal, or even just having something up your nose, you know, it works. So, cause that'll just rinse out and you just, you know, or when you brush your teeth, it just, I don't know. I'm just silly like that. Um, what else do I got over here? <laughs> Smart shrooms. So this is lion's mane mushroom extract. It's for immunity, memory, and focus. That's also in the serotonin department. Um, I thought this was the krill oil, which is the plant base from the ocean, but it's not. This is um, omega. So it's from fish. I don't like it. Blech. That's pretty much it. I showed you guys everything I got over here. Oh, elderberry. Yes. So if you do go out today and you start touching people and you're just like, I'm afraid of Corona, like you can always just put things in your body to help your immune system and you actually bounce back. I actually found, now I don't want to say I recommend this, but please talk to your doctor, do your own homework. Um, I cannot pronounce this. And Patrexil, this is a natural, um, like, let's say if you're really sick and you have, like, no, this is, like, my emergency. So it's kind of like if antibiotics are a number 10, scale of 1 to 10, this will be, like, a number 2. Um, so you can't take the whole thing because you'll get sick. But it has um, echinacea. Uh, you do three servings a day when you have um, symptoms of illness. Do not use if you become pregnant or breastfeeding. Consult your healthcare professional. It has zinc. And it says to not take this on an empty stomach. But this is on Amazon. Uh, Ampitrex, Ampitrexil. Yes. And people who also have uh, UTIs. <laughs> not saying that I did, but it's actually pretty good for it. Um, anyways, that's all I want to share with everybody. Be good to yourself. Be good to your bodies. I need to jump in the shower and I need to moisturize my face. I don't want to go. But anyways, happy Thanksgiving. Ugh. Bye. <laughs>